Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial about the G29 and the issues that people are having playing various games. Uh, in my experience and others' experience, it's been Farming Simulator, but I've heard other games as well have had this issue, maybe Project Cars and so on. I can't speak to whether or not this will work with Project Cars. This is a setup guide on how to get your G29 uh, steering wheel from Logitech to work on Farming Simulator. But, you know, if it works for Project Cars and other games, awesome. I'm glad I could help. So, as I was looking around for different issues, this is basically the only res resolution I have found to this. Of course, everyone is saying, oh, we'll go into your settings and, and select uh, combined controllers and whatnot. That worked on the G27. It does not work on the 29 or the 920, which are the same steering wheel but one's for PS4, the other one's for the Xbox One or 360, both of them do both generations. So this is the closest setup I have found so far and it's probably going to be the best setup we can find or use until Logitech decides to do something about this. Up until now, they've been kinda meh, you know, uh, sorry for your issues, thanks for buying our stuff. Um, so first and i'll have all these links uh in the description box so but originally this is what maximus put put down here and it was using a couple different programs i never went this route because my main concern was is that it's going to continue on over to other games that i play like i racing american truck simulator soto course of things like that and i really get turned off with having to go into two one or two different programs change profiles even before I even open up the main game. I don't like doing that. I just want to be able to sit down, open up the game, and start playing. So I never did that. Well, he recently came over, and since today's the 20th, so this was on Thursday, and he came back and said, hey, I found how this is, you know, found this set up. It works pretty good. And he links to this guy here, and unfortunately him and his partner that do this video all German. But even if you mute them, you watch the video, you can get an idea of what they're doing and how they're doing it. It is informative just by watching alone what they do here. So if you get hung up, you can still get the basics. Everything else is going to be trial and error on your part. I've already done a lot of it, but there's still more to be done. You also get a link for this site. This is the emulator for the 360 controller. Now, I've downloaded the 0.81 down here at the bottom and also the 0.76. Be sure you download the one for the system that you're using. I have a 64-bit program uh, for the Windows. Most everyone else does as well. I do have Windows 10, so Windows 8 or Windows 7, 64-bit uh, should be just fine as well. But you're going to download all that stuff, and then you're going to take it and you're going to put it in your x64 file and as you can see right here there it is so if you ha if you don't know where that's at for your steam setup i think it's normally set up in your main drive your c drive but all my games are here on my second one so you just go into your steam file where is it where is it uh, steam apps common uh, farming simulator 15 x64 and that's how you get back to it now at the start all you're going to have is the application once you open it that's when you're going to get the dll file as well as your configuration settings now this is also going to yeah it's going to recognize the devices you have attached every time you open this up so even if you unplug it open it up do what you want to do you know unplug your your, your joystick Every time you open this up, you're going to have to unplug your joystick. Don't bother. And that's just more work than it really needs to happen. Even if you cancel or close this out, it's still going to... There. It's going to give you errors left and right. Controller 1, I already have set up. I'm not going to mess with it. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to your trigger on both sides, left and right, as well as your stick access, this one right here and you're going to highlight record 
and then you're gonna take access six. Access six is the brake. So you're gonna hit record and you're gonna push your brake pedal. That'll register that. Same thing over here, hit record and then push your, your gas. And then down here for your steering, hit record, turn your steering wheel. Now every time you're gonna see a red dot flashing and then it's gonna turn green saying, okay, I've got it. And once it's turned green, you're good to go. Now, as far as the Logitech joystick being seen in here, I don't know how to turn it off. I've tried the pass through and multiple options here nothing works it doesn't seem to work in the game it doesn't work correctly even if i map things out it doesn't work correctly and i'm not about to sit here and have generated xbox controllers for both the steering wheel setup as well as the joystick setup i don't want to do that so i'd rather have the steering wheel on its own and then the joystick on its own and I have a way around that. So once you're all done, you're gonna hit the save button. I already have everything saved. I don't have to worry about it. Well, you know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and save it anyway, cause then the configuration file, and I can show you that. So you're gonna hit save. You're gonna close out that, open up your configuration file here. And what you're gonna see right off the bat, pad one and pad two. Your pad one is gonna be the G29. And I assume this would work for G27 as well. You're going to highlight pad 2. That's the joystick. For me, in this case, it's the Logitech Extreme. Delete it. Now, all the way down here is the other, the second part of it. This is where all the information is stored for what does what. You're going to highlight it all. Delete that as well. One thing you're also going to check, make sure your left trigger still says A-6 and your right trigger still says A-2. When I first did this, I must have done it backwards for somehow, some way, but those were flipped. So that means gas was brake and brake was gas. And that doesn't work too well on the 29 here. That brake pedal doesn't go all the way down to the ground, you know, like a gas pedal does, unless you're even standing on it. And even then, I don't know if that's going to work. So save it, close it out, you should be good to go. You go ahead and open up. See, I already have it saved here. But you know what, yeah, let, me, let me make sure it works that way because I've been opening up from the file here. Now obviously you're gonna have to go into your controls, make sure your gamepad is on. I've already mapped everything out here. You can set it up to how you wish. I mean, I'm still tweaking the settings here to how I feel comfortable. So your front loader as well as your, your crane operating, you're gonna have to tweak yourself to how you like. Uh, let's see, drive forward, trigger and trigger, and then left stick X for the steering so everything's good there. And also, once you do all that, you delete that information, then you can go ahead and start setting things up with the normal joystick buttons. Let's see, like the cedar boom I have here for the John Deere air, John Deere ear, ear cedar, air cedar. So when I wanna lower the boom, I just hit the toggle switch on the top here, the little joystick switch down and that lowers the boom. Same for the implement settings for that, a little higher. There we go, three, five. I mean, these are all the top four buttons on the top of my controller here so once you have all that of course you want to save it save it again i'll log into my pleasant valley map and i'm really looking forward to pleasant valley rivers that's going to be coming out here hopefully in a month i've been watching the streams from dave and viper the map looks awesome it looks even better than it did here on on pleasant valley so we still have the mine, we've got boats, we got rivers, we got bridges, and I'm, I'm really stoked. Uh, I can't wait, so oh, we're good to go. So in preparation, I mean, I, since I was testing it back and forth, back and forth, I decided to go ahead and just buy these two items. So I already know this is going to work. Bucket goes up. There we go. We're good to go. Those are the only two functions you have with this one. But 
Moment of truth. Up we go. Out we go. Turn it. Extend. Back in. Turn it. There we go. And there's the turning function on that one. So we got full functionality now. Just to show it off a little bit, I'm going to go over here and cut a couple trees down. Hey now, uh, 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 uh. you get back over there. Alrighty. There you have it, guys. Now you can have your G29 working pedals and have your joystick working without the emulator and without having to reprogram everything. Ooh, what's going on here? How did we get all jacked up? And you're good to go. So hopefully this helps out you guys or anyone else that's having issues with the 29 or the 27. And, you know, if anyone comes up with other ways to do it that's a little easier than this, or they figure out how to use the emulator so they can have full function of all the buttons and accesses that are allowed on a joystick like the Extreme Pro from Logitech, for example, by all means, leave a comment uh, in, in the comment section here so others can take part in that information and spread the wealth to everyone else so we continue in playing the games that we enjoy to play. So, until then guys, take it easy.